Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you ready for action? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Yes, I'm ready. I am ready. Nice. Very good. Hey, my dear angelitos. Let's begin. Buenas noches. Este es el Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, modalidad online, Beginner 3. Welcome to your English class. Today is Wednesday, March the 29th. This is day 18. And the topic is imperatives. My dear ones, only two more days to go. Today is day 18, then 19 and 20, and we finish. Okay. And we'll be on vacation, right? So we're going to be resting okay, for a week. Okay, this is the general objective. And this is the specific objective. And this is the class objective. The class will be able to use imperatives to give directions to places in the city. And this is the agenda. We're going to have a short review, then giving directions, requests, giving instructions, and a conversation. Okay? So this is the agenda for tonight. Okay, let's begin. Attendance. Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Anna nice. Geraldine Mena. Yes, good evening, Nita. Okay. Anna Geraldine Mena. Barbara Azucena Rivas. Okay. Blanca Flor Jiménez. Blanca Flor, no. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Excellent. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Jose Andres Martinez. Katy Briseida Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Nice. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Excellent. Good. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Oliver Van Trigueros. Omar Alexander Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher. Very good. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome on board. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Hey, very good. Good evening. Susana Andrea Urbina. William Boris Rocky. Okay. According to this, we are 12 people. Well, that includes me, of course. Okay. Let's begin. We're going to start with the review. Review of going to. You remember, I'm going to, you're going to, they're going to, etc. And for the questions, are you going to? Is she going to? In this exercise, uh, what we're going to be practicing is this. Only three entries in the conversation. We have, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to work. What are you going to do? I'm going to relax all day. So what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to work. What are you going to do? I'm going to relax all day. 
Okay, tonight. What are you going to do tonight? I'm going to watch uh, you say. What, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to watch TV. What are you going to do? I'm going to go out with friends. So they are color, uh, they are color marked so that you may follow according to the conversation, okay? So tonight, watch TV, go out with friends. Next weekend, go to the beach, study for an exam. Next Sunday, go to church, play soccer. Next Saturday, go to the movies, go to a party. Tomorrow night, sleep, watch a series on Netflix. Next week, travel abroad, rest every day. Next Friday, celebrate my birthday, read a book. Tomorrow night, listen to music, study the lesson. On vacation, visit relatives, go out every day. On your day off, relax, go out with my family. Hey, questions about the activity? No questions. No questions. Okay, then let's go to the groups and let's start practicing. Okay. Though we are we are 13, still I'm going to make two groups only. Okay, the groups are opening. Please join. Hey, in group one, we're only missing Noé. Okay, in group, well, group two is complete. Only Noé is not in the groups. Si quieren, vamos entrando, eh, somos cuatro, ¿verdad? Eh, dos y dos. Ay. Cinco somos. Ay. Cinco. No, pero Santiche. Sí, con el teacher me cuenta. O somos cinco siempre. Cinco. Y si nosotros somos cinco. You have to count yourself. Ok. Omar, empecemos si quieres. Bye. Ok. What are you going to do tonight? I'm going to watch TV. What are you going to do? I'm going to go out with friends. What are you going to do next weekend? I'm going to go to the beach. What are you going to do? I'm going to study for exam. What are you going to do next Sunday? I'm going to go to cross, cross church. What are you going to do? I am going to play soccer. What are you going to do next Saturday? I'm going to go to the movies. What are, what are you going to do? I'm going to go to a party. party. What are you going to do tomorrow night? I'm going to sleep. What are you going to do? I'm going to watch a series of Netflix. What are you going to do next week? I'm going to do travel abroad. Abroad. 
What are you going to do? I'm going to rest every day. What are you going to do next Friday? I'm going to celebrate my birthday. What are you going to do? I'm going to read a book. What are you going to do on vacation? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Tomorrow night. I'm going to listen to music. What are you going to do? I am going to study the lesson. What are you going to do on vacation? I'm going to visit relax relatives. What are relatives, you going to do? Relatives. relatives. I'm going relatives. to visit relatives. I'm going to visit relatives. I'm going I going to go to the beach. What are you going to do? I going to study for an exam. For an exam? Exam, exam. an exam. What are you going to, to do next Sunday? I'm going to go to church. Go, what? go, go, go to go, church. Go, go to, church. to church. Go to church. Go to church. What are go what are you going to do? I'm going to play soccer. What are you going to to do next Saturday? I'm going to go to the movie. Go what? Go, go to the movies. Go to the movie. What are you going to do? I going to go to a party. What are you going to to do tomorrow night? I going to sleep. What are you going to do? I'm going to watch a series on Netflix. What are you going to do next week? I'm going to travel abroad. Abroad? Abroad? Abroad. I'm mm -hmm. going to travel abroad. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I'm going to rest every day. What are you going to do next Friday? I'm going to celebrate my Friday. Birthday. 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 What are you going to do? I'm going to to read a book. What I'm are you going, going to do tomorrow night? I'm going to listen to music. What are you going to do? I'm going to study the lesson. What are you going to do on vacation? On vacation? Vacation? Vacation. 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 Okay. Vacation. What are you going to do on vacation? I'm going to visit relatives. What are you going to do? I'm going to go out every day. What are you going to do on your day off? I'm going to relax. What are you going to do? I'm going to go out with my family. Very good. Next. Okay. Excellent. Yo puedo con alguien, no sé. Anyone wants to press? Yo acabo de ingresar, no sé qué hay que hacer. Disculpen. Solo, no, 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 no. Uh -huh.
Bueno, si quiere, lo, le hago la primera pregunta y que él nos mire la dinámica. Uh -huh. Vaya, démosle. What are, you, what are you going to do tonight? I'm going to watch TV. What are you going to do? I am going to watch TV. No, you say I'm no. going to go out with friends. With my uh, friends. I am going. I am going to go, go out, out with, with friends. My... With friends. Go out with friends. Friends. Uh -huh. My is not necessary because if you go out with them, it's that they are your friends, right? So with friends, I go out with friends. Okay. Right. Well, well, a empezar nuevamente. What are you yeah. going to do tonight? Uh, I'm going to watch. I'm going to go to a party. Uh, what are you going to do uh, tomorrow? Tomorrow night. I am going to sleep. What are you going to do? I'm going to do, I'm going to watch a series of Netflix. What are you going to do next week? I am going to travel a what are you going to do? I'm going to read uh, every day. I'm going, I'm going to do uh, next Friday. I am going to uh, celebrate my birthday. What are you going to do? I'm going to Read a book. What are you going to do uh, I, tomorrow night? I'm going to listen to me. Uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to study the, les the lesson. Uh, what are you going to do on vacation? I am going to... Uh, visit relative. relatives. Relatives. Visit relatives. Relatives. What are you going to do? I'm going to go out every day. What What are you going to to do on your day off? <laughs> I am going to relax. What are you doing? Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with my family. <laughs> Finish. Okay. Excellent. Six people are out. Ten. Four people. We have 14 people. So with me 15, so we're missing two. Okay, well, then we go, 15 people. Okay, let's see. Review, how do you use be going to? Look at the words in bowls in complete sentences below. It says, I'm going to arrive on Friday the 14th. 
I'm going to stay until Monday. Miss Fuentes is going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Negative sentences. Miss Fuentes is not going to fly to Cuba on the 14th. Mr. Gomez is not going to arrive on Thursday the 13th. Okay, yes, no questions. Are you going to stay in a, in a smoking or non-smoking room? Are you going to make the reservation for a single or double room? Okay. How long are you going to stay? When are you going to arrive? The information questions. So we use the verb to be, going to, and then the verb. This is to describe schedule activities and activities that will definitely happen in the future. So what is that? Plans. We use going to to talk about plans. For negative sentences, we insert not before going to. I'm going to eat dinner tonight. I'm not going to eat dinner tonight. Okay. To ask yes, no questions about schedule activities, begin with the verb to be. Are you going to go out tonight? Are you going to study the lesson tomorrow? For information questions, just begin with the information word question. Where are you going to do? What are you going to do? As we studied yesterday. Okay, now we're going to do this exercise. Put the, put the information in order, okay? Order the words to create sentences and questions about scheduled activities. Example, to Dallas, you going to when arrive are. When are you going to arrive to Dallas? Um, well, we don't use the preposition to with arrive. We say arrive in. So let's correct it because, well, in the platform, leave it. Leave it like this. Leave it like that in the platform, but the correct preposition is in. You can use in, at, depending, depending on the circumstance. But this is arrive in, no arrive to. You don't arrive to, you go to, but you arrive in. When are you going to arrive in Dallas? So over here, I'm going to put the, the correction again. Hello. ¿Por qué hago la corrección? Porque yo sé más que el que escribió, escribió el libro. No. No es porque crea que sé más, ni es porque yo diga que sé más, sino porque un error cualquiera lo comete, ¿verdad? Entonces lo corrijo porque el error es obvio y quiero que lo aprendan de la forma correcta. ¿Ok? Por esa razón. Y no es que ellos no sepan y se, todos nos equivocamos y no porque no sepamos, sino porque somos humanos. We are humans, we make mistakes. Okay, Angelitos, the example, the first one is done. What are you going to do? Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. In the groups, you discuss this. But I'm going to create different, a different groups. Okay. Let's see. Okay, the groups are opening. Please join my dear ones, please join. I share my screen.
for the reward to create sentences in question about sex activity. Okay. Va a escribir en la pizarra. Okay. En la que tengo aquí, sí. Para ordenar las oraciones. I'm going to reserve a chunk for no, are you going to are you going to make the reservation for the for the conference room? Agree. Yeah. Are you going to make the reservation for the conference room? Okay. Tal vez en rojo. Gracias. No veía. En rojo lo dejé. Se ve mejor. Okay. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to wake up for for the request. I can no veo más arriba. Tapa ahí el, el cosito del basurero. Or... I'm going to wake up. Sería. Mm. For the. For request. Are you going to no sería call wake up call five qué raro wake up wake up call quizás es como alarma no wake up call uh, es una llamada para despertar pues, ajá. Una llama. And we and it's not necessary use I'm going to wake up call to fight. No, it's like you tell the hotel to wake you up. So the hotel calls you. Call Hello, you. time to wake up. <laughs> you you hear okay. the phone and you wake up, right? Yes, I'm going thank to you. Request. Uh -huh. I'm going to request for wake up call. Oh, oh, I, I am. I am, yeah. Mm -hmm. No. You are agree? I'm going to request for wake up at call. Mm. Um, yeah. I am going to request. Yeah. Request. Ah, aquí quizás al revés. Los. Uh, oh. Well, no. <laughs> I'm going to request a wake up or for by a. I'm going to request. I wake up for for five p.m. Ya vi el teacher, ya vi el teacher que dijo así. Yeah, I'm going to request a wake up for five p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, number four. Yeah. Mr. Turcios going to check, is going to check up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mr. Tucio is going 
He's check. going to check out. Check out. 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 Tomorrow. Okay, next. Number five. <clears throat> maintenance. 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 Maintenance team. Maintenance team is going to attend the conference on October 10th. Maintenance team is going to attend the conference on October 10th. The conference, the conference, attend to attend the conference on October 10th, okay? Uh, everybody's agree? Mr. Diaz, I go to. Uh, I go to. Mr. Diaz, Mr. Diaz, I go. I going to. Neil. Mr. Diaz is going to. We going. With the four. Okay. Uh huh. No sé, no sé qué dice. No I'm dice. going to wake up at uh, 6 a.m. I'm going to wake up. Is correct, teacher? In the, in the first part is I'm. I'm. Capital. I'm okay, it's capital I apostrophe M. I. No, no puedo poner. <laughs> okay, apostrophe. Where you have uh, the question mark. Donde está el question mark. Solo dele click. Okay, no, pero presione shift. Shift. Presione shift. Shift y el question mark. Ah, no, sí, sí. No, shift y question mark. ¿Cuál es el shift? La flechita no. que va para arriba. Uh, es el shift. No, no, no se activa. Presiónelo. Ahí le salió, le acababa de salir. Hace ratito. Antes del paréntesis le salió. Es donde está, la, donde está el question mark. Y esa es mayúscula. Ajá. Así dejémoslo. <laughs> Quiero ver. No. Ok, I'm going to wake up. No. Ok. Eh, I'm going to I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Four five a.m. No, a a is here. A wake up call for five a.m. Ah, sí, sí. A a wake up call. I wait. I wait. A wake up call for five a.m. Mm -hmm. No, a five a.m. So it's four five a.m.
Is. Is going to Mr. Mr. Turcio and ah, no, Miss Turcios Miss Turcios is going to tomorrow. It's going to check, check out. Going to check out tomorrow. Yeah. Miss Turcios capital to capital letter for Turcios mayúscula en Turcio. Capital letters. No puedo modificarla. Don't worry, leave it like that. Doble, doble click, le da doble click y la modifica. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. October 10 is going to a maintenance. It's a conference. So um, thank you for the conference. Uh, but what is, what's the subject? What is the What's the subject? October 10th is a time expression. La expresión de tiempo siempre va al final. Mm -hmm. So what is the subject? ¿Quién va a asistir a, una conf a la conferencia? Me regalaron. Ya le regalé algo a alguien. Mm. Me regalaron las chuchonguitas. En octubre. Ajá. No, en octubre no veo el uh, I going to. En oh. octubre is a team. Y says, a maintenance team is going to attend a conference or is going to attend the October 10th conference. But he says he's going to attend a conference on October 10th. So it's the maintenance team. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10th. Tiempo que nos mantiene ya. Ajá. Yes, I'm here. It's your finish. All right. The others no. <laughs> the others haven't finished, so I'm checking on them. But let's see if yours are correct. Finish? Yes. Correct. Let's check. Okay. <laughs> are you going to make a reservation for the conference room? Yeah, okay, correct. Only, siempre acordémonos de poner la, la, el signo de pregunta. So it's a That's question. True. So we, we add the question mark. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to request a wake up call for 5 a.m. Yes, that's correct. For Ms. Turcios is going to check out tomorrow. Yes. Main, the, the maintenance team the maintenance team, you see here, the maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10th. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a here. Yes. So the maintenance team, porque es el equipo de mantenimiento y es específico. The maintenance team is going to attend a conference on October 10th. And the sixth, Miss Diaz is going to need mm. is going to need a non smoking room.
Ajá. Exacto. That's it. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. Okay, thank you, Pismo. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it. Let's go to the main. Okay, okay. okay. Let's go to the main room. Thank you. You're welcome. Twelve people are out. Thirteen. Thirteen people are out. Fourteen. All right. I guess we are fourteen. So, give directions. Given directions. The purpose is to give direction. Discuss these questions. Discuss these questions with your partners. Are you good at reading maps? Do you usually ask for directions to locate places? Are you good at giving directions to get to places? Who can you ask for directions? Do you use a GPS? Can you follow its directions? Remember that we have four cardinal points. The first cardinal point is what? The one at the top, what's the cardinal point? North. 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 Uh -huh. We represent, yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to write, I'm not going to be lazy. North. So the first is North. Let me change it to white. Let's see. Is white oh. better? Yeah, right. Okay. And then the opposite is what? South. 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 On the left, we have what? On the left? East. West. On the left is West. On the right is East. Okay. North, South, West, and East. These are mm -hmm. the cardinal points. Cardinal okay. points. Cardinal points. North, South, West, East. Okay, we're going to discuss the questions with our partners. Let's go and discuss and talk about the questions. Um, the groups are opening. Let's begin. Hello. Hello. 
The first no. question is, are you good at reading maps? In my case, I don't know to read maps. I don't know. In my case, I never read a map, just Google Maps. But <laughs> a, real, a real map, I never read. In my case, I not not I do not. Okay. Another one? No. The second question, okay. Do you usually ask for a direction for directions to locate it? places yes i ask for the action in my case just if i going to go for a rural a rural part uh, i ask for a direction because in the city you can use uh, Google Maps uh, and you can arrive for this place. But in the rural areas, and the Google Maps is not, is not good. Mm -hmm. It's true. I lost in Chalotenango. Once I <laughs> okay. Me encontré en la calle de Contope. Yeah. Sí, a veces. I, I asking for direction. I look in ways. In my case, yes. I just ask for direction. Just yes, for direction. Okay. And what? Yes, I went. Um, I lost. Yeah. I got lost. I got lost. I cut I, I lost. Mm -hmm. okay. I lost, solo es perdí. I lost, perdí. I got lost, me perdí. Uh, got lost. Okay. Okay. And the third question, are you good at giving directions to get up to places? <laughs> In my case, uh, I I am bad giving directions for a people. Mm -hmm. I know how can uh, how can I arrive for different places, but um, when I have to give a direction, Mariana. I think that um, I can't. <laughs> mm -hmm. Another one. In my case, I don't. I don't go. Okay, I that. lost clock. I lost people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, another one. I'm not at giving preference.
Okay. Another one, just pass for the another question. The fourth question is, who can you ask for direction? Who can you ask for directions? Who can you ask for directions? ¿Quién podemos pedir dirección? ¿A quién podemos pedirle? Ajá. ¿A quién podemos pedir, pedir direcciones? ¿A quién podemos pedir Direcciones. ¿A quién pedimos direcciones? I ask maps. Yeah. In my case, I Google Maps. Waze. 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 Google Maps. I ask for direction to police. For oh, to yeah. police. From yeah. police. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Some police. Some, Some police. police. Some <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I believe that when uh, when you are a driver and you drive in the city, you learn the different strips in the city so you can give a direction. Yes. So in a for example in a, you can ask for a direction for the microbus <laughs> drivers <laughs> drivers of of buses. Bus driver. bus, driver. bus drivers bus drivers bus drivers. Driver. Bus driver. <clears throat> The, the last one, do you use a GPS? Can you follow its directions? Yes, the Waze is GPS application. <laughs> yeah, Waze is a good application, but when you have time, because if you don't have enough time, it's too bad to use waste sometimes. Or the, you have a good connection, internet connection. Okay, exactly. If you lose the connection for a few minutes, you get lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Or if you don't have battery in your phone, uh, you get lost. You get <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, my dear so let's go back to the main group. Okay. We are 12 out. Okay, let's see. Next two. A is next to B. A is next to B. Side by side. Next two. Okay, this is next to this. A is next to B. Okay. In front of. Okay, notice 
This is the building. You have the win, the windows here, okay, for the second floor, etc. Okay. So, okay, but this here is a person that is in front, a lot front, in front. This is across the street. La calle pasa en medio y están, nosotros decimos enfrente, pero se usa, en inglés se usa across from, across the street. Across so, from. A yeah. is across the street from B. A is a is across the street from from B. A is across the street from B. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. No. Aha. Uh -huh. No. Aha, uh -huh. check over here. This is not in front anymore, and this is in the corner. But the idea is, I want to say is that this individual is in front of the building. So where is in front? Here. This circle? right, is in front of the building. Teacher, then, si está en la misma, sobre la misma acera, una persona que está parada en la acera frente al edificio, ese es in front of. Ah, teacher, usamos in front of para gente, no solamente. A veces hay un kiosco, un kiosco in the same acera del edificio is in front of. Pero si está al otro lado de la calle, usamos across from. Va. Eh, si hay en un, en un aula, en un salón, digamos, este es el aula. Aquí hay una persona. Eh, y aquí está la otra persona. Y este es el aula. Oh. Let me see. Este es el aula. Oops. Even, ah, it's different page. <laughs> different page. Okay. So, this person is across the room from another person. Across from. Not in front. But if there is a person here. And another person is in here. So suppose the direction is right. So we say this one is in front of this one. Right? In front of. Okay. Between. Okay, let me see. I'm going to put this one to let me see. I cannot do another shape because they're usually bad. But I'm I can draw it. Or pretend to draw it. Okay, the, tra the, the square, let's suppose that it's a square. More like a rectangle. Okay, the square is between the circle and the triangle. The square is between the circle and the triangle, between. 
Okay, so we put A, change color. A, B, and C. A is between, sorry, B is between A and C. Yes. A is between B and C. Okay, what happens if we have one, two, and three? Two is between what? One and three. Exactly. Two is between one and three. Okay, this is across the street, across from, right? Across from. What do we call it? Across from. No es obligatorio ponerle the street, solo podemos decir across from. A is across from B. Okay. Uh -huh. Around the corner. This is, what is the corner? This is the corner, okay? So when we say that it's around the corner, it's here, a la vuelta de la esquina. Around the corner. Around the corner. Mm -hmm. You say, where is the bank? Ah, it's around the corner. Around the corner, okay? On the right, okay, let's see. This one is what? On the left, and this is on the right. Teacher, how do you know the left and how do you know the right? Put your fingers like this. Put your fingers like this. Look, this, okay, this is not L. But this is L, so it's left, right? It's left, but you say, teacher, for you, for me, no. Okay, this is the left, exactly. What do you see in front of you? An L, so it's left. And this one, no, you see a J, J, <laughs> so it's not left, right? So. Check out here, A is on the left, B is on the right. A is on the left, B is on the right, okay? On the right, on the left, okay? In the screen, right, in the screen. Let's see, down the street. You say, teacher, no entiendo down the street. No, ni yo no lo entiendo, pero, okay. Down the street is like this. We continue walking y al final de la calle. Down the street. Al final Down, de la calle. down the street. Okay. Um, I don't know where you live. I don't know where you live. But if you live in San Salvador, we have Miramonte is up. Downtown is down. So, if you are going from Metro Centro, you are going downtown, you go down, you go down the street. But if from Metro Centro, you go to Miramonte, you go up the street, walk up the street. Richard, what is walk up? Suba. Walk up is subir, camine hacia arriba. They walk up the street. Walk down the street. Camine hacia abajo. So walk down the street. Camine hacia abajo. Walk down the street. Walk down. Let's imagine here. Let's imagine here. In this drawing. Okay. Imagine that this is the street. See, 
Pandita como mi nariz, pero de todas formas, this is the street. Check over here. We have, if you go, angelitos, if you go, let me see. Okay. If you go in this direction, what do you say? Are you walking up? or walking down? Up or down? You're walking up. You're up. Walking, up. walking up. Okay, yes. if you go in this direction? Down. You're walking down. down. You're walking, walking down. 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 Uh -huh. Walk down. up the street, walk down the street. Supposedly here is up, here is down. Mm -hmm. Excellent. That's the idea. Okay. So these are the prepositions. Next to, in front of, between, across the street, around the corner, on the right, on the left, down the street. Okay, here I is in my propia version. Check over here. We have in front of, check, in front of, next to. Okay, the ball is next to the square. The ball is next to the square. The ball is in front of the square. The Teacher, ball. I can, I can say the ball is right the square. Uh, on the left, the ball, ah, sorry, yes. The ball is on the right of the square, exact. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the right of the square, correct. Okay. Yes. The ball is across the street. The ball is across the street from the building, or the ball is across from the square. The ball is across from the square. Okay. And here, the ball is between the two squares. It's the so you can you can put it like. Here you can say this is A and this is B. The ball is between A and B. The ball is between A and B. A. Behind. Behind is atrás. Sí, casi, no se, casi no se usa en los edificios. But. Detrás de tal parte. Casi no, pero behind. is behind, 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 behind. And then the other is on the corner of. On the corner of. Pero aquí, esta es la acera. Esta es la acera. El edificio sería más o menos. El edificio estaría como aquí. Esto. Y yo estoy aquí en la acera. Entonces es on the corner. On the corner. Y estoy dentro de un, digamos, yo estoy aquí, estoy in the corner. Pero aquí es on the corner. También puede decir at the corner of this and that. Pero normalmente es on the corner. En la esquina. En la esquina del viejo barrio. So you remember. Okay. On the corner, yes? Out, uh, out, fuera. Uh -huh. Exactly, out. And this is in. What is in? In the bowl. Dentro del razón. In the bowl. And this one is where? On the table. On the table. On the table. This is under under the bench, on the table. On the table es sobre la mesa, o sea, tocando la mesa. Si está arriba, ya no es on the table, it's over the table, right? Over the table. Okay, so prepositions. Okay. En español decimos siempre sobre la mesa, si está así. No toca, pero está sobre la mesa. Pero en inglés, sobre aquí, tocando la mesa. 
si está aquí es, no es, ya no es el sobre que conocemos, on, es over. Ok, let's see. Let's continue. Take turns and read the directions. Your partner will label the places on the map. Hey. So you have to, what do you have to do? The example, the hotel is across the street. Okay. You say, teacher, across the street from what? Al otro lado de la calle de qué? Okay. Yeah, I don't know, but no problem, okay? Maybe this is the hotel because the name is here. So it's across from this. The hotel is across from this. Okay, let's see. The hotel is A and this is B. So what do we say? A is across from B. A is across from B. The hotel is across from B. Okay. Yes, it's across the street. Pero normalmente no se dice solo across the street porque no dice mucho. Vale. Ok. Si estoy en cerca, yo les digo, ah, está al otro lado de la calle. Al otro lado de la calle. It's across the street. Pero si estoy lejos, ni lo vemos, decimos, ah, don't worry, the hotel is across from the bank. The hotel is, let's say that A is a hotel, B is a bank. The hotel is across from the bank. No, no mencionamos la calle, solo decimos across from. Se entiende que la calle pasa en medio. No necesitamos decir la calle, solo across from. Ok, A is across from B. The hotel is across from the bank. Ok, but we have to discover. Let's see, let's call this one C. This one is D. And this one is E. Ok. You tell me. The gas station is around the corner. The gas station is around the corner. Letter. The gas station is around the corner. It's to around, teacher. Sorry. Letter B and letter B. Corner. Bank is uh, gas yes. is to bank. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. There is around the corner can be para acá. Can be para allá. It's true. Around the corner. So it can be E or it can be B. Yes. Yes. Let's see. The bank mm -hmm. is next to the gas station. El único que es next es esto. Letter C. Sí. Ok. So, this is bank. Gas station. And this is gas station. Gas station. Letter C is gas station. Gas station. Letter C. Gas station. Ok. The ATM is down the street on the right. Y, ¿Mm? so, si venimos de aquí, decimos down the street. On the right. Si sí, venimos de aquí arriba. Porque dice on the right. So if you're walking, right? You're walking on the right. On the right. So ATM, Atlético de Madrid. Eso. No, teacher, Atlético de Madrid, no. What is the ATM? What is the ATM? Automated teller machine. Automated 
אלא משיב. Teacher Teller, ¿sí? No lo escribió la R. Yo no lo puse. <ríe> so, Automated Teller Machine. ATM. Ok. So, the restaurant is down the street on the left. Letter. The ATM mm -hmm. across and from. Across from the restaurant. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Yes. We say. Okay. Hello. Teacher, me estoy algo confundido. Yo también. Don't worry. <laughs> Fíjese que con respecto a la gas station, eh, yo entiendo que es around the corner, dicen, eh, eh, pero ¿por qué la ha puesto hasta el final? No tendría que ser en la letter B. Eh, sí, pero digamos, como aquí no dice, no dice dónde empieza. Entonces aquí estamos adivinando dónde iniciamos, ¿verdad? Partiendo, partiendo de ahí. Supongamos que iniciamos aquí, por la lógica. ¿Ok? Y vamos down the street. Down okay. the street. Down the street. Este, este es para la derecha. Ok. Y este es down the street para la izquierda. Ok. Ok, usted me va a decir, ¿por qué, teacher? ¿Para dónde está su carita? Por, para acá está su carita. Su carita y de Kellogg's me va a decir, no. Pero, digamos, <risa> su, su carita está para este lado, ¿verdad? Para, para acá. Entonces, si usted está viendo para allá, ¿dónde, ¿cuál es la derecha? The ATM. ¿Cuál es la izquierda? The restaurant. Ok. Ahora, y si seguimos la lógica que dice Oliver, vamos siempre iniciando de aquí, venimos aquí y llegamos around the corner. Este sería around the corner. Yes. ¿verdad? Entonces sería este, restaurant. Pero entonces no sería de gas station. ¿Verdad? Porque el que hemos puesto de bank sería el restaurant y el que hemos puesto de restaurant sería el, el bank ¿verdad? Sí ahí depende de cómo, cómo lo, lo, lo ubiquemos ¿verdad? Ah, es que, es que está como no dice inicia aquí Sí Siempre en un, en un mapa siempre se pone punto de sí. origen Sí para dar, para que se entienda para dónde vamos. Porque si solo decimos, ah, de direcciones aquí y dan las direcciones, pero no sabemos de dónde partimos, no se entiende. No hay referencia. ¿okay? So, check. Without reference, it's difficult. Ok, but don't worry. You're going to do it in my map. This is my map. And this is the reference. Start here. Start here. Okay, aquí sí hay ref reference. Okay. Check. Explain. Go straight. Go straight means what? Sigue derecho. Sigue derechito, ¿verdad? Go straight. Oh. Okay. Go straight. Puede ser go straight. Puede ser go straight. Para arriba, para abajo, para la derecha, para la izquierda. Siempre que vaya derechito. Go straight. No le dice dirección, solo le dice que hacia adelante y rectecito. Okay. So, go past. Go past is okay. Imagine that it says go past the bank. Ah, what are they saying? Okay, check. This is the bank. This is the bank. And you are uh, coming. Oh my goodness. You are coming here. 
And it says, go past the bank. What's the meaning? Continue. Don't stop at the bank. Go past the bank. Ajá, exacto. Pásese del banco. ¿verdad? No se quede en el banco. So. Drag, drag, drag. Doesn't let me drag it. Okay, I'm going to cheat. Okay, so like this. Go past the bank. O sea, queda después del banco. O sea, tiene que seguir del banco hacia adelante. Go past the bank. Okay, now go past. Pásese del banco. Okay. Go past the bank. So. Go past the bank. Okay. Then turn left. What is turn left? Si viene para acá, what is the left? Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Turn right. No? Turn right. Si viene de aquí para allá. Turn right, turn left. Go up. Go up. Go down. Go down the Go street. Down. Go up the street. Go down the street. Walk down the street. Ok, si vamos en carro, podemos decir go up the street, go down the street. Pero si vamos a pie, walk down the street, walk, walk, down, down, the, the... walk down the street, camine hacia abajo de la calle, o sea, camine para abajo de la calle, sobre la calle, walk down the street. Ok, si hay que ir para arriba, pero no vamos en carro, podemos decir go up, go up the street. La diferencia es si vamos en carro, no vamos a decir walk down o walk up, porque vamos en carro, no vamos caminando. ¿Verdad? Vamos a decir oh. como es, decir una señora, cam vamos caminando a pie, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. That's new. Caminando a pie. Ok, but, ok. So, say like this. Go on for two blocks. Siga durante dos cuadras. Go on for two blocks. Take the first left. Cuando hay dos entradas, dice, hay la, la primera entrada, la segunda entrada. The first. Take the first left. Okay. Take the first left. Take the left. first right. Okay. Digamos... Hay una entrada y luego hay otra entrada. Okay. And you are moving in this direction. So take the first right. This one or this one. Let's say A or B. A or B. A. A right. Leg. Exactly. First right. Okay, but if it's on the other side, if it's here, what do we say? Take the second left, A or B. Take the second left, A or B. Or B, B right. B, right. Because you come here and you turn here. Second B. Okay. All right. That would be the idea. So go on. Go on is continuing. Go on for two blocks. Go on for two blocks. Go on for two blocks. Take the first left. Take the first left. Entre en la primera o doble a la esquina, la primera entrada. Take the first left. Take the first right. 
doble en la primera entrada a la derecha. Take the first right. Ok. The chair. Yes. Um, number one, go straight. Go straight. Straight. It's right. Go straight. Es derecho. No, ajá. Sí, no decimos right. Porque right es derecha. Derecha, no mm -hmm. derecho. Derecha y el otro left es izquierda. Entonces, go straight. Rectecito. Vaya rectecito. Hey. What is the difference? Go straight, go ahead. Go ahead is continue. Go ahead is continue. Go mm. straight is straight. <laughs> don't turn. Don't go left. Don't, don't go right. Go straight. Mm -hmm. Go ahead is okay. continue. Similar to continue. go on. Similar to go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Go okay. on. Go on. Yes. Okay, do Teacher, the and, and and I can say uh, I know that go straight is a is a is a form, but I can say drive straight. Um sí, yes, pero, but not yes, but you don't <laughs> yeah, you can say grammatically is correct. People don't use it. People say go straight ahead go straight ahead doesn't matter if you're walking or if you're driving on a bicycle on a horse on a camel doesn't matter so in that case go straight, is, ahead. Go straight ahead okay okay do the phrases above have a subject yes or no teacher pregunta capciosa <laughs> do these have subjects? Yes or no? No. This is a question como la del abogado. ¿Le sigues pegando a tu mujer? <coughs> si dice sí, le sigue pegando. <laughs> y si dice no, le pegaba. <laughs> so, siempre está en problema. Okay. So, the, do the phrases above have a subject? Yes or no? Ustedes me van a decir no. Y en, aparentemente, porque esta es una pregunta capciosa, yo creo que los compañeros no se dieron cuenta, pero una pregunta capciosa. En inglés, toda oración tiene sujeto. Toda, sin excepción. En inglés, Toda oración tiene sujeto, sin excepción. Entonces la respuesta es, do the phrases, y perdón que no son phrases tampoco, pero do the sentences, porque son sentences. Do the sentences above have a subject? The answer yes. is yes. ¿La podemos ver? No, porque son tácitas. Teacher, tacitas. No, tacitas no. Tácitas. Es tácito. Que se da por entendido. No se escribe, pero se sabe que está allí. Es tácito. Entonces, va. Decimos, go up. ¿Quién es el sujeto? La persona que está oyendo. ¿Verdad? Second subject. La persona que está oyendo es el sujeto. ¿Lo escribimos? No. No. Cuando usted le dice, come in, usted entiende que a usted le están hablando. Dice, second person, please come in. ¿Hay sujeto? Sí, hay sujeto, pero usted. ¿Se escribe? No, no se escribe. Es tácito, sobreentendido, ¿sí? y no se escribe. So, la pregunta aquí es, ¿hay sujeto? Sí. ¿Se escribe? No. Estás. Okay. So, go up. Go up is continúe hacia arriba. Go down. Continúe hacia abajo. Go down. No, vaya, vaya hacia abajo. Vaya hacia arriba. Okay. So, go up, go down the street. Es una instrucción. No tiene sujeto visible. Okay. That is the, the idea. Use a verb without a personal pronoun. An imperative to give 
directions. Es un imperativo, una orden o instrucción que tiene un sujeto tácito. El sujeto no lo vemos, pero existe. ¿Verdad? Así como no vemos a Dios y existe. Así el, el, sí. el sujeto no lo vemos, pero existe. ¿Okay? Tácito. Ok, so that is for this. Ok, now, check the example. Check the example. Good morning. Could you give me directions to the nearest hotel? And the other person answers, good morning. Sure. Walk down the street. Walk down the street and turn left. Turn left. Walk down the street and turn left. Okay. Thank you. No problem. This is the bank. Okay. Walk down the street and turn left. Okay. That is it here. Okie dokie. So, thank you. No problem. Okay, my dear Angelitos, time, sorry, time to see what we're doing. Okay. Tell me what place it is. We start here. We start here. Okay. Uh, turn left. Turn left on Elm Street. Turn left on Elm Street. Go up for two blocks. The place is across from the bank. The place is across from the bank. What is it? The place is across from the bank. It's, it's the shoe on, store. It's the shoe store. Excellent. Is the shoe store. Okay. Start here. Go straight ahead for one First Avenue. One lock. Yes. Go straight ahead on First Avenue. Go yes. for one long block. Turn block. left. Turn, Turn left there. on Oak Road. Road. Okay. Turn left on okay, Oak Road. Go straight ahead. Okay, go straight ahead. Con, okay, go on for three blocks. One, two, three. For three blocks. Okay. It's across from the restaurant on the left. Bookstore. It's the bookstore. Mm -hmm. Bookstore. Mm -hmm. Okay, so practice giving directions. Yeah, practice giving directions. You say, how teacher? Like the example, you begin here and use the information. Use this information. I'm going to give you an idea. Go straight, turn left, Go on for one, two, or go up, go up. Here is up, it is down. Imagine that you want to waste time. Turn left. Okay, you tell me what place it is. Turn left on Elm Street. Go up for two blocks. Turn right on Third Avenue. Turn yes. right on Third Avenue. Go on for one long block. Turn right again on Oak Road. It's across from the supermarket. Grocery store. Exactly, the grocery store. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have bank, shoe store, gym, bookstore, restaurant, bakery, drugstore, church, police station, shopping mall, supermarket, 
grocery store or grocery store, boutique, dance club, bus station, hotel, souvenir store, jewelry store, clothing store, school, and car workshop. Questions? I for, the, for the moment, no. Okay, let's see. I'm going the to give you now. one more example. Turn left, turn left on M Street. Go straight ahead for two blocks. Turn right on Third Avenue. The place is between the shoe store and the bookstore. Gym. The gym, the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to the groups and let's practice. Okay. <clears throat> let's let's go to the groups and practice. The groups are opening. Please join. Is the one before? Hello. Es la pantalla anterior. Echo. That's the one. Okay. Where is the bakery? <laughs> Is from the peak. Wow. Who begins? Okay, then go ahead on First Avenue, then pass one, two, three block, then turn left on the Oak Road. Then pass up two blocks, then turn right on the third avenue. What place is the last block? Is the place is in front of drugstore. Repeat again, please, uh, Dina. Okay, okay. Go ahead on First Avenue. Then turn right on the Oak Road. Up to block and turn right on the Third Avenue. What place is across from drugstore? Dance club. 
That's right. That's right. Okay. Turn left on the Elm Street. Then turn left on the Second Avenue. What place is across from bus station? What the play is? Across from bus station. Turn on the LM Street, left, and second avenue. Yes, turn left. Right. What? Place is a road from bus station. Bus station. The place is church. No, no sé si no, no le entendí esa pregunta. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, it's correct. It's the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one question, teacher. I can say what place is in front of the bus station, or I can or or. or Oh, oh, I have to say is the cross from bus station. Yeah, the, no, there is nothing in front. In front is sobre la misma acera. La acera, okay. Y es solo para personas casi siempre o para kioscos que se llegan a poner frente al edificio, pero están del mismo lado de la calle. Si están al otro lado de la calle, es a cross from. The cross from, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay. Go ahead on First Avenue. First Avenue. Mm -hmm. Then turn left on Oak Road. Then turn left on the Second Avenue. What place is Across from ne or next to? Is it next to hotel? Next to the hotel? Next to hotel is the Silver V store. Souvenir store. Mm -hmm. Souvenir yes. Store? Yeah. Yes, correct. Of course. Okay. Ahora tú. Da la dirección. O alguien más. Ok. Turn left the Helm Street. Yes. And go go along. Go ahead. To, go ahead. Go ahead to Third Avenue. And In between, between Bam and Schuster, is not between, is across, across off, ya, porque vas a atravesar la calle, across off. Across from. Sí, no, across o sea, from. yo, teacher, es que yo entendía que, por ejemplo, Jim is Next to shoe store. Ajá, it's next to the shoe store. Ajá, y o oh, next to bookstore. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no, no use be, between. Okay, the gym is between the shoe store and the bookstore. Yes. Exactly. But you, but you can exactly. say that the gym is next to the shoe store on the left and uh, 
the books on the right. So that would be the, the idea, right? Pero siempre yeah. se utiliza, se puede utilizar next to. Next to, si se menciona solo una, es next to. Pero se mencionan los dos between. Uh -huh. Between. Yes. Podría, okay. ser, podría okay. ser también across from. Across from the mall. shopping mall. Yes, the gym is across from the shopping mall. Uh -huh. but, yes. but it's across, but it's across because across the street. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Continue, my dear. Continue. Okay, Flor. Don Gilberto. Dale la dirección Flor. allá a alguien. Bush Station con Flor. Okay. Bush Station. Second Avenue. Up Road. Restaurant. Um, don, don Gilberto, use las palabras yeah. mágicas. Turn right, turn left, go ahead, go up, go down. All right, all right. Push, pass station for leg. Turn, turn left. Turn left. Uh -huh. Second Avenue. Turn, turn left on Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Uh, three blocks of road. Per si left. Cruz, perdón, Don Gilberto, si cruza a la izquierda ya no hay tres blocks. Porque sube, sube aquí por M Street y cruza a la izquierda, se le acabó la calle. Pero si cruza a la derecha, turn right. Yes, you have three blocks. And more. Oh, oh. This yes, is yes, turn yes. left and turn right. Mm -hmm. Okay, try again, please. The case uh, bus station left L Street. Uh -huh. Turn turn left on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair right second avenue. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Turn right on second avenue. Uh -huh. three, three block. Okay, you say one, two, three, you consider that this if they, these are blocks. Okay. Of red or road. Okay, turn what? Turn right or turn left? Turn turn left. Turn left to no street. Mm -hmm. Two street restaurant. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Go, go on for two blocks. Go, to, go on for two blocks. On, no, restaurant. Ah, it's a restaurant. Okay. And the question was? The floor? Thank you, Stuart. Okay. All right. Continue, my dear. Okay. In this, in the, in the third avenue, between grocery store and dance club. And the magical words? La palabra mai? Um, uh, go go across back road. Okay. 
Continue. Continue. Hasta ahí. Ok. Veamos. Es que quería ubicar boutique. Ah, ok. Sí. Pero dice eh, Pero, pero para, sigamos, la, sigamos la ruta. We start here. Bus station. Ok. Um, In the so second say, avenue. Turn, turn, ok. Start here. You don't mention that bus station because it's not necessary. But you say, turn left. Turn left on M Street. Right? Ok. Then... Turn right on Second Avenue. Okay, go ahead or go straight on Second Avenue. Okay, for one, two, three, four blocks. If they are blocks, okay, the boutique is across from the school. But you say turn left on Elm Street. Go, Teacher, for example, mm -hmm. se, digamos, se puede decir, in front of school. The boutique, in front of school. No. No. Como, como, les, como les explicaba hace un momento, a, enfrente, en inglés, enfrente, como nos, lo usamos nosotros, no existe. Mm -hmm. O sea, mm. vaya, el enfrente que ellos entienden, in front of, es cuando está sobre el mismo lado de la calle, enfrente del edificio. Puede ser algo movible que se ha llegado a colocar ahí como un kiosco, alguien que vende frutas mm. o alguien que vende Ay, chores está. o algo así, que está en mm -hmm. el mismo lado de la calle. Entonces está mm. enfrente del edificio. Pero si hay una calle de por medio, entonces es across from. Across. Mm. Por ejemplo, the boutique is across from the school. Mm -hmm. The dance club is across from the car, car workshop. Or the mm -hmm. dance club is across from the drugstore. Porque hay una mm -hmm. calle de por medio. Mm -hmm. Eso se usa cuando hay calles o cuando hay ríos. Mm. Across from. O sea, across from. al otro lado del río sustituye el in front el across from sí, es, no se usa in front no se uh -huh. usa in front a menos que esté sobre la acera en el mismo lado de la calle uh -huh. si no, no está in front está across from ok, teacher uh -huh. esa es la idea ok thank you teacher you're welcome ok Finish practicing, let's continue, okay? Continue. Let's see. Angelitos, 10 are out. Six people are still in. 11, 12, 13, 8. Let's see. What you're going to practice is requests. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me downtown. Gladly. Let me get for my let me get my coat. Okay. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me home. Gladly, let me get my coat. Okay. Uh, are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me to a restaurant. Gladly, let me get my coat. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me, ooh, me comí el me. Please take me to a disco. Okay, you say gladly. Let me get my coat. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Uh, please take me to church. Gladly, let me get my coat. And we practice. Please take me home. Please show me around. Please take me to a restaurant. Please 
take me to a disco. Please take me to church. Please take me to the concert. Y aquí me comí otra vez el me. Please take me to school. Tenía hambre, ¿verdad? Please take me to the university. Okay. So, recuerden, aquí es take me. Okay. También aquí es take me. Take me to a disco. Take me to school. Okay. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me to a disco. Gladly. Let me get my coat. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me to school. Gladly. Let me get my coat. Okay. Let's practice the conversation. We have very short time, but let's do it. Okay. Please join. The groups are open. Let's practice the last conversation. Si quiere, podemos comenzar nosotros. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería este? Un pedo cero. Ah. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, vaya, sería... ¿Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me home. Gladly, let me get in my coat. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please, show me around. Gladly, let me get my coat. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please, take me uh, to a restaurant. Gladly, let me get my coat. Cold, 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 cold. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please stay. Are you busy? Are you busy right now? Busy? No, oh, I'm busy. not. Are you busy right now? Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please uh, take me to the concert. Please, let me get my coat. Let me get my coat. Coat. Let me get my. Let me get my coat. My coat. Let me get. Let me get my coat. Get. Mm, get. Get. Let me get my coat. Coat. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me get my coat. Let me get let me get my coat. Excellent. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take to school. Take uh, take me take me to school. There is a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please take me to school. Gladly. 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 Let me get my coat. 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 Uh, okay. Are you busy right now? No, I'm not. Please take me to the university. Gladly. Let me get my coat. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Pues solo íbamos a hacer la parte A de la segunda, solo ir cambiando las preguntas. No, la van a hacer completa. Nosotros nos detuvimos Era para que ustedes siguieran. Practicar. All of it. All of it. Uh -huh. yeah. Let's continue. Are you busy right now? Busy? Are you busy right now? Are you busy right now? Uh -huh. Who answers? Flor, Flor. 
No, I not. Please take me, me, take me. Please take me. Please take me down, downtown. Please take me downtown. Downtown. Gladly, mm -hmm. let me get my coat. Gladly, 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 let me get my coat. Coat, 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 coat. coat. Gladly, let me get my coat. Are you busy right now? Busy, busy. Right now. Busy. busy. Are you busy right now? Right, right now, right now. Are you busy right now? Are you busy? Busy, busy. Busy right now? Right, right now. Right now. No, I'm not. Please take me home. Gladly. Let me get my coat. Are you busy? Busy now? Busy. 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 busy right now. Busy right now? Right now, right now. Are you right busy right now? now? No. There are 12 people out. Okay, 12 people out. Let's wait for the others to come out. Well, it's taking them a little while. 14, 15, Okay, and 16. We are only 16. Attendance, attendance. Alison Andrea Serrano. Excellent, teacher. Excellent, nice. Anna Geraldine yeah. Mena. Okay. Barbara Susena. Blanca Flor. Present. Excellent. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present. Excellent. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Good night. Excellent. Good night. Tenis Fernando Flamenco. Present. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher, good night. Excellent, good night. Jose Andres Martinez. Present teacher, good night. Excellent, good night. Kathy Briseida Hernandez. Present, good night. Good night. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Oliver Van Trigueros. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Omar Alexander Chavez. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher. Excellent. Rolando Don Danilo Sánchez. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Andrea Urbina. Present teacher, solo pedirle Excellent. una disculpa que ayer no nos pudimos conectar. Yo no me pude conectar. No sé okay. qué fue porque okay. intentábamos y bastantes compañeros intentaban y la plataforma no, no daba. Sí, no, no les sabría dar una respuesta, pero sí oí acerca de eso. Uh -huh. sí. Lo siento okay. también, sí, sí, no tenga pena. Okay. William Boyce. Bye. Bye. Good night.
William Boris Rock. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Okay. Let me see. Hoy se queda conmigo Rolando. Okay. Rolando. The others. Thank you very Good much night, for attending. Friend. Good night, my friends. Sleep tight. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Let's see. Good evening, Rolando. How can I help you? Oh, uh, uh, what's uh, I have a problem. With my platform is Lexon number number six. Um, excuse me, the number. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Um, no, puedo entender, teacher. ¿Cuál es el tema? a lo que estábamos viendo ayer el verbo eh, ing verdad verbo ing ayer uh -huh. eh, he is going to ah el futuro um, ese uh -huh. no es el verbo ni en el verbo ni en el gerundio. Este es be going to. Be going to es para el futuro. Uh -huh. Be going to phone his, his friends. He is going to phone his friends. Uh -huh. It's correct. He is going to phone his friends. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cuál es la en duda? La Ajá. Eh, en la plataforma no me da correcto, lo he escrito. He is going to phone his friends. Vaya, escríbamelo como lo escribió en la plataforma en el chat. Y le voy a enviar, Ajá. Ok. Aquí podrían ser dos cosas. Una de las cosas es eh, que le falta el punto final. Ahí no se lo puse, teacher, pero aquí sí lo tiene. Ajá. Ok. La otra podría ser que he is debe ir contractado. O sea, no separado, sino he's, he's going to he's, phone his friend. Ah, ok, lleve, llevar y, el... Esa podría ser. La el otra. apóstrofe. Y el apóstrofe, si, o sea, a veces no, no agarra cualquier apóstrofe. Entonces, mm. si usted la ve en algún ejemplo por ahí, puede pedirla prestada, copiarla y pegarla para que pueda... Eh, ¿Cómo se llama funcionar? Porque a veces no reconoce la apóstrofe. Y entonces por eso se la pone mal. Esa podría ser una de las cosas. Ajá. ¿Cuál okay. otra? ¿Cuál otra que le dio problema? Todas esas teachers no he podido en esa lección. Mm -hmm. no, pruebe, pruebe que, to que todas inicien con mayúsculas. Y terminen en punto, si son oraciones. 
si son preguntas, que todas inicien con el verbo to be y que todas terminen con el signo de pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. el number Pero, two. Sí, uh -huh. Number two, we are going to play a new computer to game. Uh -huh. Y oración, ¿verdad? We are yes, going to. Yes. Entonces, pruebe, pruebe que vaya con mayúscula y pruebe con la forma completa. Pero si no acepta la completa, póngala contractada. Y recuerde el, el apóstrofe. ¿Cómo es saca el apóstrofe? Presionando shift y donde está el, el del question mark. Que sería el penúltimo de los botones antes del, del para borrar ok sí porque esta la escribí we are going to play a new video game new video game Eh, no he podido teacher con esa lección es la única que pruebe, no pruebe las dos formas pruebe las dos formas pruebe we're going to play a new video video game así o pruebe sin la contracción we are going to play a new video game. ¿Verdad? Entonces, esas serían lo que se tiene que fijarse, que vayan de la forma correcta, porque si van de la forma equivocada, entonces no no lo va a aceptar. Tiene que tener puntito final. Tiene que okay. comenzar con mayúscula. Tiene que llevar el apóstrofe de la forma correcta. Si es que va contractado. Si no lo han programado para que vaya contractado, lo acepta así separado. Ok, teacher. Entonces, pruebe de esas formas. Primero Dios que alguna de esas le pegue. ¿verdad? Sí, y yo sí. digo que así le puede pegar porque los demás ya las completaron y tienen 100. Entonces, quiere decir que si sí es, sí está bien la plataforma, alguna cosita no está haciendo correctamente y por eso es que se la pone mal. Revísela cuidadosamente, que las palabras estén deletreadas de la forma correcta. Y pruebe. Y si okay. no le salió la primera vez, pruebe la segunda, la tercera. Vaya cambiando cositas así para para ver cómo cómo se las acepta para que les salga bien hoy ok uh -huh. ok sí, eso sería ok, okay. then the you, Rolando teacher. you're welcome sleep yeah. well see you tomorrow okay. see you tomorrow teacher. good night good night my friend good night take care good night teacher. ok as preparation requests. Match. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'd like to dance. I'd like to see a movie. It's hot right now. It's very cold now. I'm very sleepy. I want to study the lesson. I want to watch a series. Let's go for a drink. Let's go to a disco. Let's oh. eat something. Let's go for an ice cream. Let's put on our sweaters. Let's rest for a moment. Let's go home. Let's go to the cinema tonight. Let's watch it together. Let's study. Let's study it together. Task, giving instructions. How can I use that TV? Oh, that's very simple. Let me show you. First, Plug it into the outlet. Next, turn it on. After that, choose the channel that you that you like. And that's it. 
Wow, it's true, it's very simple. Hey, how can I make an egg? Oh, that's very simple. Uh, let me show you. First, turn on the stove. Next, warm up the frying pan. After that, cut up the vegetables. Then, add the salt. After that, wash the eggs and add them. Later, mix everything carefully. Then, add some cream and salt. After that, wait for it to be ready and enjoy. <laughs>